Another sector that is severely affected by digitalization is employment. Most of our jobs actually, and that has resulted in what people call the race against the machine. And if you think about it, if only a couple of years back, you were booking some travel over, checking in a flight at the airport, you were usually interacting with people. Nowadays, most of these processes uh, will be fulfilled by machines who will be interact with you. Uh, call center, the same if you call a call center, a significant amount of time you will speak with machines. Translator machines have replaced a lot of tasks that traditionally translators have been doing. Tax accountants, salesperson, shopping cashiers and so forth. Pharmacist even. If you go there, are some pharmacists, if you go in, you won't find one person. They are just algorithms and robotic hands that mix together the recipes subscribed by the prescription of the doctor. So a lot of jobs have been replaced and that has uh, led to a lot of fears with people. Now these kind of fears is nothing new. Back in the 1700s and something there were people who were so scared by being replaced by machines. They were so angry at those machines that they were famous for destroying them. The catch term or how these people usually refer to is Luddites. Now the difference compared to 300 years ago is that nowadays machines have become so powerful they even have become intelligent and we are not only afraid anymore that they replace our jobs we actually are afraid that they might replace us or start to dominate us which leads to this question of man against machine. Somebody who had a lot of experience with the struggle of man against machine is Gary Kasparov, a world-class champion, a grandmaster in chess, and he has been famously beaten in 1996-1997 by a machine, IBM's Deep Blue. And he learned some interesting lessons. Check out this TEDx talk about the rise of augmented intelligence. So what Kasparov basically found was that a weak human, an amateur, plus machine and a better process was superior to a strong computer alone. And more remarkably even was superior to a strong human like a chess champion plus a machine and an inferior process. That means that the challenge for the future lies in having better processes of collaboration between humans and machines. Machines are certainly better in doing some things than we are and we are arguably better in some other things. One of them for example deciding on where we would like to go as a humankind. That's a process uh, where we are or should be pretty good at and the idea would be that we combine our intelligence and our future visions with the intelligence of machines and there's Lots of work to be done during the years, decades, centuries to come on to seeing how we can combine the intelligence of both of us.